What is up everybody? This is Aprilia and today we're going to be trying out Imogen 4 which is now available for free at Google AI Studio and as far as I know there's no region restrictions on this website nor any limitations on how many images that we can prompt with it. At least based on my testing there has been no restrictions so far. And currently there are a couple of different features in the AI Studio in case you're not familiar. There's a chatting, streaming and on the media side there's Luria, there's VO2 which is not the latest which is vo3 and then we have jim and i speech generation and then obviously what we're going to be focusing on here today which is imogen 4 and there's also imogen 4 ultra available on the platform as well and also the older model imogen 3 and we're going to be uh, trying out a couple of mid-journey prompts over here and we're going to be seeing how this able to basically uh, actually generate them. There isn't any hard limitations on the platform as of right now. Your typical censorships, obviously, and you're not able to prompt kids, which might be related to pedos or something like that. And currently there are five different war formats, 916, 1 to 1, 16 to 9, uh, 4 to 3, and 3 to 4. And you basically just put out the prompt and then you start running it. And uh, you should be taking around maybe 10 seconds or less to basically actually prompt it out. And you can get pretty good quality photos here. I mean, the text is not very good, but this is very, very impressive. And it's not maybe as good as the one that on is on the mid journey, which might have been actually post processed. Let me actually try another prompt here. Um, and let's see how that will, is going to be turning, uh, turning out. And in my opinion, like uh, the quality here is very, very high. So let's do another one. This is going to be on 3-4. Uh, a Game Boy with an aquarium inside the screen. Golden fish swimming in it. Hyper-realistic product photography. Soft lightning, neutral background. And here we go. Okay, this is not as good as the mid-journey one. And the fish don't look very photorealistic to me, actually. But, I mean, I am very impressed by it. And there's also some text, but like it looks like a photo. Like the buttons and everything look good. Let's do the same prompt on Ultra and let's see what type of actual process it's going to be getting us. I don't know if the Ultra is just higher definition, is it a slower model? Um, I don't think there's any documentation that Google has given us so far uh, on this type of thing. Fail to save. Okay, permission denied. So I believe that this might be actually behind a paywall. We're not able to use um, the Ultra mode here on uh, on the free 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 model. And we're going to be using a, something very simple of a prompt here. Again, a cover of a Vogue from May 1915. So this is like an old magazine cover that's trying to basically create. And I have to say, in terms of quality, pretty good in terms of photorealism. Let's see um, how it basically can do different types of styles. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Let's actually put it out. Done in Studio Ghibli style. Anime aesthetic let's see if the end result is going to be any different i think you can really see especially when it comes to illustrations and things like that a lot of difference between these image prompters and here we have the vogue it's not there's a lot of ghibli elements here and yeah it's an anime style it's an anime aesthetic the monsters the creatures over here they look very ghibli they're a bit deformed but i am liking this this is very very good quality and there's no watermarks here. That's this is splendid. Let's try another prompt over here. Um, let's try to do a different dimension, maybe one to one. And right now you're able to only run a one prompt uh, per like thing, and around maybe ten, nine, eight seconds. Here we got the end result. It is doing a very weird cropping over here. I don't like this. Let's try to do sixteen to nine. Um, maybe it's something to do with the prompt that I just copied over. It's maybe not really ideal for that type of thing. Let's try to do a, like this Pepsi can thing from Mid Journey. Okay, this is a lot better. A lot better end results. Good quality. A bit of blurriness on, on some aspects here, but um, pretty nice. One of the negatives I have to say uh, here from the get-go is that there is... Okay, this is turning out to be pretty good. Let me actually do it on different dimension. So very similar to what we had on uh, Mid Journey. So what I was about to say is that there's no history mode here. I can't go into, like, like we're prompting all these things over here, but we're not able to go into back what we just uh, created. So uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Everything you do, guys, here, make sure that you are going to be saving it up. That's very, very important. 
Now, another thing, there's no possibility is image references. So we are not really able to add anything here like, hey, um, okay, prompt, prompt got blocked here. So as you can see, there are some security things that are coming into play that are preventing us. I didn't see anything specifically bad about it. Maybe there was a girl or something. Maybe it should have been a woman. Here we got um, another nice image. I think the, the mid journey one's a bit more artistic than this one. Let me let me try to do another one here. And I think this is always the best thing to do. It's just kind of like compare the prompts between each other and see is it able to replicate even remotely similar things. This one is pretty decently uh, accurate, but something about you know the background. This doesn't look real. This looks very AI generated. There's something really bad about it. Let's try to do this one, and. I have to say, like, you know, the speed is very impressive. This is still faster than mid journey on a fast speed and a lot more. You know, once again, we got, um, you know, young woman. Maybe if we remove the word young, is it going to be giving us problem again? So anything to do with well, very young girls or something like that is going to give us problem. Okay, this is definitely not anything near about what I was trying to prompt. And there doesn't seem to be any form of differentiation on the quality when we're trying to do different dimensions. Okay, this one also not too bad. The shadows are kind of bad. Maybe do one to one. Let's see how that's going to be turning out. And just to kind of like say, I think this would be even worth paying for maybe. But I would really like to see what the Ultra is able to do. Let me try it again if it actually is allowing us to do something with it. Or is it just going to be cock blocking us um, because we're in a free account? And right now on the Google AI Studio, I don't think you can buy credits. So we are not really able to do uh, anything. So this is pro. Okay, apparently we can use ultra, but I don't understand. Okay, let, let me actually, you can cancel this, which is very nice. So I don't know what is the, the differentiation. Maybe I need to go in documentation and add it on the actual screen. But ultimately, like I think there is um, good quality over here which is somewhat inconsistent. So realism, it can do. I think it can do illustrations as well. Let me try to do a couple of different illustrations still before we wrap it up here, guys. Uh, let's try to do the Pixar style. Okay, this is not too bad either. So it's able to do different styles. Let me see if I can find something else that's able to... And this is like all free. It doesn't seem to have any limitations and everything. You just like can take an image Okay, here we go. It does Pixar style pretty well. Not any pixelization here. It's just like very, very sharp detail. Um, I like it. But that basically wraps up my uh, thoughts about, you know, Imogen 4. You can try it out yourself and experiment with it. Right now, what I would love to see is kind of adding those reference images and text on the wall that says Aprilia. So let's see if it actually can do text. That's the only thing that we didn't test out so far. A lot of the images on the uh, the main page of the gallery were didn't have a lot of text on them. So it can do text, which is pretty good. Let's try to do another last thing here with the text and see if we can get a better, better uh, performance. Let's try to do that same one with 16 to nine. Okay, it can do the text. That was pretty horrible looking image though. So you can expect, like one of the things that GPT-4 is good at is that it can actually find matching fonts that actually look into that they fail part about it. Okay, we got the text here, no problems whatsoever. So it can do that too. But thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more reviews on the channel and all more news. And subscribe, like, and leave a comment. What do you think about this? Is Imogen 4 like top 5 right now? Top 3? How do you prefer it over the other ones? I would love to know that. Uh, but yeah, I will be seeing you guys on the next video when that drops out. Until then, see you soon.